Hein and Lin sit on the stands. Hein is designing Tibby's vehicle. And Lin visits the manager of a bowling club where Tibby has a room. And Mr. Van Bullion, Meneer Van Bullion, he is the manager of the Roll Ball Club. And, you know, he's busy, he's irritated, he's insensitive, he's frustrated. And he just does not want Tibby to stay there any longer because he won't be able to work without legs, he says. So Mr. Van Bullion, like, who's going to do the gardening now? Hmm? Who's going to do the gardening? Oh, he's not going to do the gardening, but he still wants to stay here for free? Yeah, yeah. And that's all Mr. Well, Mr. Bullion's hot take. And he explains that he will be in an adapted wheelchair and will be able to pay for the room. And he will look after the cars over weekends. And he's going to use a whistle. He asks for a one-month trial period. And eventually he says she must call him the following Monday. And Royce is quite displeased because Johnny acts blind. Johnny is an absolute clown. He's acting blind with these blacked out sunglasses and a white stick and just some random boy that he found. And that's his whole act. You know, so people can have a bit more sympathy for him and give him some more money. And he makes loads of money, you know. People love to hire, to help people, uh, you know, who who have, like, some kind of obvious physical disability. And Johnny is, he knows this, and he's absolutely milking it. He's not blind, but yeah, this is his whole act. So, a bit of satire there. And I love, 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 love this quote. Who will be able to tell what is good or bad, right or wrong, or risk comments? I think that is so philosophical, such a wise quote. What is right? What is wrong? Is Johnny doing this from a point of desperation or from a point of exploitation? You know, there's all these cool stories um, about situations where people do whatever they can for their families. It might not be ethical, but, you know, it's it's to feed mouths. I've come across this uh, story about a Middle Eastern man. It's uh, has a bit of an Arabian setting to it, Arabian Nights kind of vibe, an evening in one of the souks, and he steals a loaf of bread from one of the vendors to feed his son who is suffering with a physical disability and his ill wife. And when he's caught, he pleads to not have his, uh, his wrists chopped. That was the punishment. In, in most societies back then. So what he did, was it right? Well, he had to feed his ill wife and his disabled son, but at the expense of the vendor. So yeah, in, in life, what is good or bad? You know, there are lots and lots and lots of gray areas. Okay, and Lynn remembers her absentee letter in Mr. Muller's file. And Lynn is touched when a woman gives her a 10 rand note and sympathetically, sympathetically asks why a young girl like herself is begging for money and not working. Like you are clearly able to why you're not working as she hands her the 10 rand. 